Hello, and welcome to Enshrouded, Episode 2. Figure we'd go to find our first survivor first, and uh, well, just see what happens after that. But first, let's see... Yeah, hey! Surprise! Okay, well that, that, that was fun. Alright. So down this path is going to be the blacksmith, so we'll we'll just head down the path and I'll see you there. And here we are. Oh, he bushes. We can sneak up on this guy. Sneak, sneak, sneak. He doesn't know we're coming. I wonder if he'll be surprised. Surprise! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I get parried. Oh, hey. These guys are pretty obvious in their patterns. Uh, I mean, they can be kind of tough sometimes, but pretty easy to figure out how they operate. Go ahead and search the stuff. Another failure. Let's see what's up here. Oh, chest in a book. Exciting up here. Okay. All right. Anybody in here? No, nobody in here. Okay. I wonder. Okay, so th this uh, anvil is really cool right here, but before that, um, I'm going to see what we get from taking this thing. Nothing. No, well, <laughs> three metal scraps, not worth it. Uh, it took a long time to take that thing down. Um, but the the anvil are really cool. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, the anvils are really cool because they repair your equipment. You can uh, go up to the anvil. So whenever you find an anvil, take advantage of it. And just repair that stuff. And oh hey. Give him a fighting chance here. Sort of. Okay. Ah, oh, the blacksmith volunteered. Interesting laboratory for a blacksmith. All right, and this is where the blacksmith is. And why didn't I get the? Okay, it says it says I got to replace the survivor, so I got him. Um, so that doesn't give you a blacksmith or anything like that. You actually have to craft the summoning staff, and then you have to summon him in your base. Um, but here's a little kind of a secret over here. Kind of something you want to look forward to is these little secret doors. And I don't have a lockpick, of course. So lockpicks cost two metal scraps when you're crafting them out in the open. And that'll become important a little bit later on. I'll show you the differences. Ooh, nice. Okay. Inventory all sorted. And... I guess we'll just head home. Oh. Hey, thanks for the reminder. That's it's nice of it to tell us that we can actually fast travel. And we're home. Okay, yeah, I guess I jumped the gun by crafting the summoning staff already because this <laughs> the shrine tells you to do it. 
What is with this thing that keeps refreshing every time? I wonder if it's because it's within the flame altar. All right, put the staff in there, hit tab, and then select Oswald Anders the blacksmith, and then blaze him. Oi! Watch out, sparks flying. Ooh, new quests. It's always a little exciting when you get the new quests. You feel like you're progressing. Okay, and he gives us some extra crafting options, a forge and a kiln, which we'll do later, not right now. We can craft nails here, and the lockpick, that's the important thing right there. Remember, it was two scraps to craft out in the open. It's one if you craft them with him. Hmm, we can craft a... That's kind of a nice club compared to what we have right now. Ooh, and a fur armor set. And hey, it looks like we have all the materials to be able to do that. <laughs> Glider. All right, so went and settled our storage and everything, crafted the fur armor set, so this is what it looks like as we get our new quest thing from the flame. And it looks like we get to go and clear an elixir well, and it wants me to craft a glider. So the elixir well is out here. It's in the shroud. So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to look into gathering some materials to craft a glider. We need some shroud wood and some shroud liquid. down over here and there's some shroud liquid right here and these little mushroom ball looking things you know? and these mushrooms right here um, they you can chop them down and they give you shroud liquid just like uh, you know a normal tree would give you wood and stuff like that so you can go ahead and gather this stuff up if you can find it there we go so I got a couple so now we've got 14 total. And now we're going to go look for some shroud wood. And here's a tree right here. Most of the trees in the shroud will give you shroud wood. And there we got a little bit of shroud wood. And that kind of shows you, you know, what you can get. So I'll, I'll gather a little bit and meet you back. All right, so coming back and <laughs> I can't quite. Oh, okay, I'm stuck. All right, well, so I, I guess this is a good opportunity. So to get unstuck from something like this, I don't know if there's like an unstuck feature, but you can grab your pickaxe and just chop at the terrain. And to get up there now, we can just chop a little bit in the terrain with our pickaxe and boom. There we go. And now we're out of danger. All right, now let's make ourselves a glider. All right, and the grappling hook, we still, still need more shroud spores. And in order to do that, we have to, generally speaking, we have to defeat enemies. So we'll worry about that as we go. I just equip that bad boy. And that, that thing's still... What is going on with that scroll? Alright, so... Oh, yeah. We can make a better axe and pickaxe. Alright. Alright. Okay. Everything's sorted. And we're ready to go and take out that elixir well. And this is how you use the glider. Just glide. Woo! And the first glider you get, I mean, you know, kind of shallow glide path. Oh, hey! This guy. Oh, did... 
He did. He still had the ring. Okay, so that's interesting. Two sigil rings of the Elder Guard. Gather a little bit more of the Shroud liquid. It's always nice to have more. You need it for uh, some of your storage options as well. Okay, here, here's another one of those little time capsule things that restores time, but we're not going to take it because up ahead there's going to be a thing that's going to help us out and kind of wanted to illustrate some stuff. Hey, where are you going? Ow. Okay. The thing that he just did was called Shroud, Ma uh, Shroud Bomb or whatever you want to call it, but uh, it basically puts a little ring that does a little bit of damage to you, but it decreases your your time in the shroud or makes your, your time in the shroud go faster. Now the shroud survival flask, it increases your maximum time in the shroud. I'm not going to take one right now because it increases your maximum time in the shroud. It doesn't actually give you any more time. So if I were to take it right now, ooh, ow, I would still have two and a half minutes left. These guys right here are pain because they hit hard. So getting rid of them quick. Ooh, I eat health. Okay. Ah. Oh no, is that? Yeah, it's bugs. Uh, okay, so. They, ooh. Oh, well, that's right. The archer's still there. So things can get a little bit crazy um, anywhere, but especially in the shroud. I mean, jeez. So these bugs are spawning from uh, a bug spawn, and I, I really don't have the capacity right now to go and kill the bug spawn. I suppose I could, but it actually kind of serves to illustrate my point better if I don't for right now. So bear with me. Right, let's go deal with that guy. No. More bugs. And this is how things get crazy in this route. All right. Yeah, you, you gotta go. Come on, man. It's enough of that. All right, so now I'm down to 44 seconds left. Um, so I guess it's time now. So we come up to here, and this little return beacon actually restores my time in the shroud if I stand next to it. So it's very nice. All right, all buffed up, and we're ready to go for the elixir well. Okay. I'll just go down right to the well for right now. I like to kind of get these things over with as quick as possible. And what you're looking for here is a shroud root or a shroud tree, that thing right there in the distance, that red thing. And a lot of times there's dangerous stuff like uh, the shroud river or lava, whatever you want to call it, that red stuff on the edges over there. But I'm just going to glide down here because it's a nice path. And I'm going to try. Oop. Okay. Oh, hey! Ow! Yeah, that's kind of silly. Okay, come on, take a shot. There you go. Back over here, see if I can get this taken care of real quick. There we go. If you can get the shroud tree down first, then you have plenty of time to deal with this guy. Because now I'm not in the shroud anymore, because once you get rid of the shroud root, oh, um, it clears the shroud from that area. And I don't know if it's a bug or something else, but like after I log out and log back in, um, like the next day, this will be covered by shroud again. Um, you can go and take out the shroud root, and it will, you know, re-uncover it. <laughs> Ow. 
But these guys aren't too tough. They just have a couple of attacks. The jet. Ooh, nice axe. I forgot about that. Okay. So the base power on the axe is not as much as what I have right now on my spike club. But I got that shroud core. That's going to help me increase the size of my base. I wanted to show you the, the, the shroud river there. The shroud lava or whatever. Yeah, that's bad stuff. It'll kill you. Okay, and I wanted to show you the trek up here so that I could kind of skip the way up and show you this. There's a chest if you just follow the stairs and eh, got a wand finally. Yeah, I don't need that. And pretty much a dead end. So, <laughs> so it's, it's just kind of, I mean, if you come down and then you go up here you, you'll you'll see it but uh, you know I, I go down first and then I come up and you know that way I can accidentally find it and then just pop up here and then boom and you're out and I think uh, yeah let's go after these guys I want a couple hello want a couple more of the uh, the shroud spores if I can get those I kind of wanted to show you um, one of those blue, oh yeah, the, the blue barrel that I almost just hit right there. Oh, let's take care of this guy first. Anything over here? Okay. Yeah, so this blue barrel right here, let me grab this stuff real quick. Alright. Um, that creates a little shroud ring, like those shroud bombs. So if I were to go in that, I mean, you can see right now I'm, I'm out of the shroud. Boom. Hey. Alright, flame sanctums, flame shrines. Okay. Wants me to strengthen my flames. And now I could upgrade my altar, but I'm not going to. I don't want to do that here because this is not going to be my home. All right. Everything's sorted. Ooh. And there we go. We can make the grappling hook. And now we can make a small magic chest. Now magic chests are the bomb. So you use those and it basically broadcasts all your crafting stuff. So now let's go ahead and make a couple of small chests and now we can make one small magic chest. All right. ahead and put this over here. Now I could put this on top of this if I wanted to. Um, but we'll not do that right now. We'll just put it right here. And we'll put the magic chest on top of that. And you can see we have a, another row of storage in the small chests. Now you can see we don't we don't have the fireflies, but we do have the plant fibers in our inventory right now. We got the shroud wood and all that good stuff. So. We're going to go ahead and put all this stuff in the small chest, not the magic one, just the small one. Oh, I probably should equip that. <laughs> all right. Now, come over here and yeah, it doesn't it says we don't have any of that stuff available. 
because it's not in our inventory and it's not in a magic chest. We don't have plant fiber to make strings. So now we can just go ahead and take all this stuff out and put it all in the magic chest. Put the runes there too. And now we have access to all of our plant fiber. We have access to the shroud spores, the animal fur, the shroud wood and everything. So we can we can make all of the things with the with the stuff that's in the small magic chest. Now we come over here and I want to enhance well, let me get rid of the tool tips here, but I want to enhance my tainted axe because it has some pretty cool stuff that it'll do. And it costs 12 runes to enhance the first step and we have 52 available to us. Boom, 15 and 18, and we don't have enough for this one. But we've enhanced it three steps, which is pretty nice. I mean, we got the plus three cutting damage, plus three blunt, and plus three cutting, so it's pretty good. And we don't have enough to enhance anything else. Now the wand is cool, but as you can see, it like fades in the distance there, but you can use it to like break stuff like this down. And, you know, it does damage to, to enemies and stuff. It's pretty cool. Let me go and sort some of this stuff. All right, so stuff is sorted. And now we're gonna make a campfire and we're gonna talk about the resting bonus a little bit. So you can uh, make some illumination and stuff like that. But there's various things that you can make that increase your comfort. But the, the campfire we put down here and we only have a comfort level of five, and that's basically because of our flame altar. So we'll sit here and we'll cook some lean meat, and our rusted bonus is going up, but we only have a comfort level of five. So we come in here, and we have a comfort level of seven, which is cool. So we'll pick that fire up, bring it on into the tent. Now let's just go ahead and put it down there. And we'll lay down and let our rested bonus pop up. And there we go, 12 minutes at a comfort level of 7. So now we're ready to face the day. And now I think... So we can go to a bunch of places but now I think we'll go ahead and try to do some base improvements maybe go to that flame altar go ahead and go across the bridge while we're here and don't need that Now these are little bear traps. You can come over here and you can disarm them if you want to. Um, or, you know, you can just leave them there. No harm, no foul. Just you know, if you get into combat, you got to worry about them. Now here's where the grapple hook comes in. Woo! And there you go. Across the chasm. Nothing too complicated on this bridge. Some of the jump puzzles in the game get more complicated, but this one's this one's pretty straightforward. Well, let's just go across there. <laughs> All right, and we're back on this side of the world. go up to this thing over here that we couldn't go up to before because it's got grapple points on it so we're just going to go ahead and grapple up to here 
whip around and grapple across there. Ooh. Climb up, and there we go. Our first kind of mini settlement here. And oh, dog and dude. Right, let's uh, blow up that barrel. And that has a pretty good radius on the explosion, so be careful with those. Poor dog. Oh, that guy had it coming, though. Alright. We can go ahead and gather all this stuff and. Oop, <laughs> okay, <laughs> there's a pop up here. There we go, is the scroll. Careful with that shipment. So we'll go ahead and gather this stuff first. Oh, there's some explosive balls over here. Come on. Nice. New health potion. Alright. I'm gonna grab this uh, honey here, but I wanna I wanna show you what's underneath these two barrels here. Give you a tool tip, but anytime you see like little rubble piles like that, especially if it has barrels or something like that on it, that's suspicious, and this is why. Because there's a lot of these hidden chests. Oh, executioner's axe. These are kind of cool. I'm not going to focus on two-handed weapons for this playthrough, or at least not at this stage of the playthrough. I'll, I'll probably change my spec every once in a while, but um, but just to kind of show you the executioner's axe, how the how the two-handed weapons attack. Okay, there we go. That's the pattern right there. Just wide swing, two overhand swings. Okay, down the path and set our waypoint. All right, and now we're ready to go. Early days gathering. Oh, wolves. Okay. Show you a little bit of the combat here with the, the two-handed axe. It, it can be awkward, especially if they're <laughs> especially when they're sidestepping like that, because that overhand just does not give you a whole lot of leeway and it's hard to hit stuff. There we go. Okay. If they stand still, you can do a lot of damage that way, but some of that health back and I'll see you down the road All right, coming up on this cave passageway here and ooh, getting dark Oh, wolf. <laughs> All right. I'm really bad about giving them that first hit. Well, let's uh <laughs> let's buff up just a little bit just in case. River, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it lava. Looks like lava to me. Now, see, this up here is suspicious. Kind of a dead end. Yeah, okay. Uh, just to, just to, uh, see if there's something there. Use some of my explosives. 
No, doesn't look like that's making a dent. All right, I guess we'll leave that for now. All right, and coming on out. Pass right there. <laughs> and there's the flame shrine. Pop in here, collect it, and there's the spark. And that is what we need to increase our flame. As you go along, you'll you'll need more and more of those to incre increase your flame higher and higher. What's this? One of the things I love about this game is that there's always there's always a squirrel moment when <laughs> you're focused on something and you're like, okay, I'm doing this and hey, there's a building or hey, there's something over there. Uh, hey, what is that? So here's this house out here in the middle of nothing with these suspicious barrels over here. All right. Yeah, see, there's the problem with the flame, is that it just dies out after a while. Oh, here we go, got the range. And yeah, there might be something further down in there, but nah, I'm, not, I'm not too worried about it. One of the things that, I mean, it, you you can get stuck up on it, but I just, I don't get stuck up on, like, trying to find every single chest or hidden item everywhere. I'm, I'm just, I don't have the patience for that. Now this door is locked, so you can either unlock it or you can chop it down. Okay, that took a little bit of time. Yolanda is still weak. Wonder if that was Yolanda in that bed. Okay. Ooh, forest longbow. Now the forest longbow is interesting. It has the same power that my current bow has, but it has this 15 stamina cost on it. And uh, you know, I I don't know if there's another advantage to using longbows as opposed to like hunting bows and stuff. But that stamina is just I, I <laughs> I'll never know because I I just keep getting discouraged by that stamina cost. All right. Hmm. All right, so anybody around? Ha ha! That'll teach you not to pay attention. Ooh. So this, I think, is our first staff charge. So you can use these with a staff that has a mana cost on it and cast time and stuff. It's basically like an arrow for your staff. So whenever we switch to being a mage, we can use those. It'd be great. Ooh, here's a big thing. Always want to take advantage of those wells. What else we got? Oh, hello. <laughs> I can parry. Hmm. Saw some things get destroyed, but speaking of getting destroyed, let's get us some more metal scraps here. I don't always take those things down, but they're nice for, you know, a little you know, little metal scraps here and there. And I'm hearing 
hearing music, but all I see is these guys, but alright. Hello! Oh. What? <laughs> no, sir! Alright. That's not too bad, all things considered, but. Eh. balls. Ooh, elixir. <laughs> and a little book about the elixir. This is a nice little area if you want to farm elixir. Just come here every once in a while and grab those two elixirs and run out. Elixirs are a nice little buff. Um, they give you less time in the shroud, but they give you like a 20% damage boost, so they're nice. Interesting little alcove there. Okay. Alrighty, I guess we're going in here. I get that, there we go. Ah! Rats. One of the things you'll come to hate in this game, rats and bugs. Ooh, more explodey balls. Oh, hey, where did you come from? <laughs> I can swear I looked around and I did not see another rat. Maybe he was hanging around in the bushes over here. I think that's about all over here. Well, let's see if we can cook in this fire. Uh, oh, nope, but it, oh, it hurts. Okay. Yeah, more wolf meat. And I think, yep, that's about it. Okay, so I'd like to strengthen our flame if we can, but uh, we need more resin. The resin. Uh, okay. Well, I think that's going to do it. We'll, uh, we'll get some more resin in the next episode, but thank you for joining me in the Shroud. I enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. I will see you next time. Bye-bye now. Thank <laughs> you.